You asked a question about how due dates are calculated and you've calculated everything out based on your last period and you came up with a specific due date. But according to when you know you ovulated, you said you've been ovulating on day 19 of your cycle for the last seven months. It puts you just a couple of days off from if you go by the due date of your last menstrual period. And you're wondering why the discrepancy? So most doctors will go off of your last menstrual period purely because ovulation isn't a perfect science. And women are supposed to ovulate about mid-cycle or 12 to 16 days before their next period is supposed to begin. But some women ovulate earlier than, norm and, than the norm and others ovulate later than the norm. So going off of the last menstrual period just kind of standardizes it for everyone and gets the best estimate for how long that baby should be inside from that point forward. Now you also asked a question about the two-week discrepancy that exists from an ovulation date and from a last menstrual period. And it's because from the time you have the first day of your period till the time you ovulate, it's usually about two weeks. But during that time, you're not pregnant, but that time is accounted for in the length of the entire gestational period. So 40 weeks is as how long you're pregnant, pregnant, but 38 of those weeks is how long the baby is growing. So it sounds kind of confusing, but just know that your doctor will probably go off your last menstrual period because you've been having regular cycles and that date will likely only be changed if there's a reason to based on like an ultrasound that determines that the size of the baby is either smaller or larger than the original due date calculated off of your last menstrual period. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.